you're trying to cross from Poland into Ukraine, which is at war, with a piano in your trailer. What what did they say? They say I'm nuts. Like most of us, David was sitting in his home when the Russian invasion began. But unlike most of us, David decided to pack up his grand piano, drive 12 hours, and play for Ukrainians as they finally crossed the Polish border. Today, we're gonna help David load that piano back up into his trailer and head directly to the train station in Lviv, Ukraine. That way he can play for Ukrainians while they're still at home. He said, just make sure you bring some coffee in the morning. Good morning. Good morning, man. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he has his cat with him as well. Uh, we stay a couple nights there? I think so. Where? <laughs> hey, we're just we're just making this happen, bro. Also, here, you said bring coffee, so I brought coffee. You're the best, bro. <laughs> My man has been sleeping in his car for, what, three days? Yeah. Just playing music. Yeah, yeah. Playing music, sleeping in the car. Feed the cat. That's it. I love it. Bringing the positive energy. Okay, I'm gonna go run and get in the car, okay? Cause I don't wanna miss my car across the of border. Course. Amazing, dude. Now let's figure out how we're gonna cross the border. And that right there, that's the Ukrainian-Polish border. I've heard so many conflicting things about getting across this border that I'm definitely emotionally like hyped and on edge. David said he wants to be right behind me. Uh, when he crosses the border, unfortunately, they cut the car behind me off. I was the last one to get through with this group. So that won't happen. He's a lot on edge in this moment. This is a big deal to him. Oh, there they are. They're, they're in the mirror right now. They just pulled up. Okay, they've made it across the first point. So this is really where we're gonna see if they're gonna let him through with this cat. That's my biggest worry. I don't know how it works out here. Thank you. We're not officially in Ukraine yet though. Looks like there's another stopping point up here. There's the language change. All the signs are in Ukrainian. I'm officially through. At this moment, all I can do is wait for David and Tassos to get across. I don't know why they wouldn't let them cross because we're just trying to bring love and spread some positivity over in Lviv. But for some reason, I just have this concern, right? This feeling. Oh, these kids, this kid is amazing. Give me five. Are you driving? Are you, is you he... Yes, you, uh, he, he is. Yeah. Ask him if he's gonna drive across the border. <laughs> <laughs> come from Lviv? Yeah. Is that where you came from? Yeah. Are you going back? No. 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 We are going directly to the Krakow. To Krakow? Yes. To let everybody out. Does everybody have a place? Uh, we, are, we don't know. Not, not, sure. not sure. You just let everybody out and. Yeah, yeah. somebody yeah. tried to call, call to, to the friends, to friends close, and close they to go the... to another town. I made it through. This is the love mobile. He's got his car, obviously, David, <laughs> and then the piano in the back of that trailer. What? What's she doing? For a cat? Just a quick pit stop. Yeah. <laughs> My man's gotta feed the cat. You wanna play? Show her a show. Show her a show. No. could actually play. That was a moment that just, that just a moment. happened on the street. Okay. Although we were excited to get into Ukraine and bring a small flicker of light, the reality at the border was heavy. 
This car line went on for miles. So we're not far out of the border and we're literally driving through a gas station instead of the road because traffic coming the other direction at the Polish border is so dense. It's taking up the entire road. And the majority of it was women and children since men between the ages of 18 and 60 cannot legally leave the country. Driving through Ukraine was emotionally conflicting because it's beautiful. Rooftops shimmer with gold lining, and even the smallest of towns often had gorgeous architecture. But the sporadic checkpoints reminded us that we're driving into a country under attack. A country that's fighting for its life. After driving about two hours beyond the border traffic, we enter Lviv, and we head straight towards the train station. We just unload it, yeah? Pop yeah. it out and then we'll roll it in. I'm just gonna park here. That might be necessary. You steer. That way, yeah. This way? Yeah. Right here. I think this is a good spot. Right there, wherever you are. They say I'm nuts. They told me, what are you doing here? What are you even doing here with the piano? This is a war zone. And that moment I realized, okay, this is real. This is going to happen. Yeah, but I'm not going back. I think music plays a big part for the soul, like the inner, inner core of the soul. So I think music um, calms the tension and gives you a sensation of peace. This kid is going with. He chose a large instrument to travel around the world and spread love with. This is my goal, man. <laughs> You should have picked a guitar or something. I know, right? <laughs> this seat is bigger than a guitar. <laughs> After we left the train station, we were on a mission to find a coffee shop with some Wi-Fi. So we chose a random coffee shop in Google Maps and headed that direction. Now, as we approached where the coffee shop was supposed to be, we took a right turn down into what seemed like a long driveway and started to wonder where we were really going. Not far down the road, thankfully, there were a few guys outside who spoke English, and they were able to explain to us that the coffee shop isn't currently open and the entire sporting facility where the coffee shop used to be has been now turned into a refugee center for people fleeing from the east. And just like that, after a short conversation with my new Ukrainian brothers, 
we were unloading the piano for David to play for the families inside. This is literally my man's heater. Yep, it is. He lights a candle. It's, uh, it's usually, this is used for the, the hunters in the woods. They gotta wait for the deers and then they shoot them. So it's a hunter's tool, usually. <laughs> You put a candle under your button. That's how you stay warm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy's crazier by the minute. I love it. I hope that David's story can represent that even in the chaos of war, there can be beauty. In war, nothing will offset the death and destruction, but we can all find a way to give back in relief. I want to say a quick thank you to everybody who donated to help one family get out of the refugee centers in Poland. You chose to focus on the one and change one family's world. We can't change the whole world, but we can always change somebody's whole world. And that's exactly what y'all did. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check it out on my story highlights on my Instagram. In the description down below, I've linked the Save the Children's donation page because they're doing effective, long lasting work here in Ukraine. And right now, I don't know how much longer I will be here personally. So if you're still looking for a way to give back and help people here, please go check that out. Until next time, you live your limit. I love you. And for real, genuinely, if you can help the people here in Ukraine, do something. See you soon.